Father, I just heard two car guys arguing for 20 minutes about turbos versus superchargers. They nearly came to blows. Aren't they basically the same thing, just shoving more air into engines? Oh, Stewie, you just witnessed one of the oldest debates in car culture. It's like asking iPhone and Android users to be civil. Both make more power, but they're completely different beasts. Different how? They both go whoosh, right? Not quite, smart guy. A turbo is powered by exhaust gases. It's basically recycling your car's farts to make more power. Think of it like a windmill powered by your engine's breath. A supercharger is directly connected to your engine's crankshaft with a belt. It's like having a gym bro constantly doing bicep curls to pump air into your engine. So one uses exhaust and one steals engine power? Exactly. Turbos are more efficient because they use waste energy. But they have that lag we talked about. Superchargers give instant power but rob some horsepower to run themselves. Which one sounds cooler, though? That's where the real fight starts. Turbo guys love that flutter and whoosh sound. Supercharger guys are obsessed with that high-pitched whine. Sounds like a jet engine having a breakdown. Turbos are better for fuel economy when you're cruising. But superchargers are more reliable since they're simpler. No fancy oil lines or cooling systems, just a belt and some gears. So which one wins? That's like asking which kid is your favorite, Stewie. Turbos dominate modern cars because they're efficient. But nothing beats the instant brutality of a supercharged V8. So the real answer is... Both? Now you're thinking like a true car guy. Some crazy engineers even put both on the same engine. Because why choose when you can have maximum chaos?